Hi and welcome to our channel. I am Pragya and I work for Test Trigger. It is an intelligent generative AI powered codeless test automation tool that lets you write test cases in plain English or any other natural language. Today we will discuss the top 30 software testing interview questions emphasizing testing concepts to help you prepare for your next job. You can check out our other video if you are specifically interested in automation engineer interview questions. As a software tester, you have many essential responsibilities such as review software requirements and specifications, create and execute test cases for various scenarios, identify and report bugs and issues in the software, work closely with developers to resolve defects, work with the QA team to develop testing strategies and approaches. participate in testing processes such as regression integration and acceptance testing stay up to date with new software features and technological advancements show a solid attention to detail design effective test cases with creative thinking and having excellent communication skills so the interviewer will ask questions about these responsibilities let's start with the top questions and their most appropriate answers let's start with the first question What experience do you have in software testing? You can answer it. I have been working in software testing for 5 years. During this period, I have worked on various projects ranging from simple web applications to legacy mainframe systems, complex integrated systems and AI-based applications. I have experience in creating and executing test cases and plans, documenting defects and working with developers to resolve them. You can also mention the testing tools, test management systems, programming languages, infrastructure providers, databases or any other technology that you have used during your job and that you want to highlight. The second question is what is difference between QA and testing? An answer could be quality assurance refer to the overall process of ensuring the quality of a product. Quality management practices include planning, process enhancement, review, audit and preventive measures. On the other hand, testing refers to evaluating the product against the requirements, finding bugs and having developers resolve them. In short, QA involves a big picture of which software testing is a part. Let's move on to the third question. Can you explain the SDLC or software development life cycle? You can give an answer as SDLC is a series of steps that software developers follow to create a software product. SDLC typically includes these phases: requirements gathering and analysis, design, development, testing, deployment, and maintenance. The testing phase is when software testers get involved in the process to validate the software and ensure that it meets the specified requirements and is free of defects. However, With agile development, testing is shifting left and starts as early as possible and it is not a separate phase anymore. Here is the fourth question. Can you explain the software testing life cycle or SDLC? You can provide answer as SDLC defines the testing process of an application. It includes the following steps with defined entry and exit criteria. The first one is requirement analysis to understand the requirements and specification of the application then test planning is where we create a test plan that outlines the testing methodologies techniques and tools next is test design to validate the functionality of the application then environment setup test execution and we identify if any issues are found then defect reporting and tracking their resolution and at the last test closure to evaluate the testing process results and document the findings here is the fifth question what is the importance of creating test cases you can provide an answer as test cases serve as a blueprint for testing and help ensure that all aspects of application under test are thoroughly tested they include conditions steps expected results during test execution the tester updates the actual result for each test step test cases help identify any defects in the software and ensure that the software meets the specified requirements the sixth question is 
what is a test scenario an answer could be a test scenario is a high level description of application's use case from a real world perspective it describes the overall flow of the testing process including the various conditions and variables that need to be tested a test scenario may result in multiple test cases here is the seventh question what is the difference between a test case and a test scenario you can give an answer as a test scenario is a high level overview of the software's complete functionality from a real user's perspective they indicate the real life situations that application users may go through while using the software application while a test case is a detailed set of conditions and steps that a tester will follow to validate the product in a test environment finally tester will validate the actual results with expected results and accordingly mark the test case pass or fail now let's review the eighth question how do you determine the test coverage for a particular software application you can give an answer as the most common definition is that it is a qualitative measure of whether all the features in your application are covered with tests in short it is a measure of how well the testing effort covers the software's functional requirements user scenarios and behaviors there are many types of test coverage based on product requirements risk boundary value branch and compatibility coverage the ninth question is what is regression testing how is it important the answer could be regression testing is a type of testing performed after code changes to make sure that these changes have not adversely affected the existing functionalities it is important because it helps verify that the software continues to work as expected even after code changes have been made to it here is the 10th question how do you prioritize testing when you have limited time you can give an answer as when faced with limited time for testing prioritization is a key to prioritize testing you need to consider the risk associated with each functionality also you would consider the impact that a defect in that functionality would have on the software high risk functionalities should be tested first followed by medium risk and finally the low risk ones here is the 11th question can you explain the difference between functional and non functional testing an answer is functional testing ensures that the software meets the specified requirements while non functional testing tests the software for its performance scalability security and other non functional requirements let's review the 12th question what is the difference between positive and negative testing the answer is positive testing is testing the software to ensure that it works as expected while negative testing is testing the software to ensure that it fails gracefully in case of unexpected inputs or conditions let's review question 13 what is the difference between smoke and sanity testing you can give an answer as Smoke testing is also known as build verification testing or BVT testing. It is a quick test to ensure that the software's most important functionality is working. On the other hand, sanity testing is performed after a small change or when a bug fix has been made to the software. Sanity testing is a more focused and limited form of testing compared to smoke testing as it's performed on a small subset of the software's functionality. Here is the question 14. What are the most important qualities for a tester to have? You can give an answer as a QA tester should have attention to detail, strong problem solving skills, good communication and collaboration skills, a strong understanding of software development processes, and the ability to adapt to changing requirements and technologies. Question 15 is a situation based question. It is Can you describe a challenging testing scenario you faced and how you dealt with it? The answer is there is no right or wrong answer actually. The goal of this question is to assert whether you have previously faced any tricky cases and how you managed to solve them. Here is question 16. Can you explain how you designed test cases and determine test coverage? You can give an answer as when designing test cases, I follow the following steps. 
review the requirements and specification of the software, identify the critical and high risk areas of the software, create test cases based on different scenarios, both positive and negative that cover the critical and high risk areas, document the test cases and include information such as the objective, steps to perform the test and expected results. To determine test coverage, I use different techniques such as coverage analysis and risk-based testing to ensure that all the important functionalities of the software have been tested and there are no significant gaps in the test coverage. The goal is to achieve comprehensive coverage while also balancing the effort and resources required to perform the testing. Question 17 is, what tools and techniques do you use for bug reporting and tracking? For this question, there is no right or wrong answer actually. The goal of this question is to find out if you are familiar with various tools needed to perform the testing. Here is the question 18. How do you ensure that software releases meet the required quality standards? Here is the answer. We follow a structured approach that involves creating and executing test cases as early as possible, identifying and reporting defects, collaborating with development teams, and regularly monitoring the progress of the project. I also follow industry best practices for software testing and quality assurance and actively participate in code and design reviews to catch any potential issues early in the development process. Here is question 19. Can you describe your experience with agile software development methodologies? The answer is, I have experience working in agile environments, including Scrum and Kanban. I have participated in sprint planning, daily stand-up meetings and retrospectives. I understand the importance of collaboration, frequent delivery and continuous improvement in agile software development. Here is question 20. Can you explain the importance of risk-based testing and how you would approach it? An answer is, risk-based testing is a method of prioritizing tests based on the potential risks associated with a particular feature or functionality. The goal is to identify and focus testing efforts on the areas of software that pose the greatest risk to the business, ensuring that the most critical issues are addressed first. In my approach to risk-based testing, I would first analyze the software requirements and identify potential risks such as security vulnerabilities or performance bottlenecks. Then I would prioritize the tests based on the level of risk and allocate more resources and time to the higher risk areas. Thus, I will ensure that the most important issues are addressed first and that limited testing resources are used effectively. Question 21 is, how do you ensure that software is accessible and usable for people with special needs? Here is the answer. I follow industry standards such as Web Content Accessibility Guidelines or WCAG and ensure that the software is tested using assistive technologies such as screen readers to identify and resolve any accessibility issues. I also work with design and development teams to incorporate accessibility consideration into the software development process from the very beginning. Question 22 is, what do you consider to be the most critical aspect of software testing? Here is the answer. The most critical aspect is thorough and comprehensive testing coverage to ensure that the software meets all its functional and non-functional requirements and that any potential bugs or defects are discovered and addressed before the software is released to the market. Here is question 23. Can you describe your experience with mobile app testing? You can give an answer as, I have extensive experience in testing mobile applications on both Android and iOS platforms. I have worked with a variety of mobile devices and testing tools, and I have a deep understanding of the unique challenges and considerations involved in mobile app testing, such as compatibility with different screen sizes and operating systems, performance and usability. I have also been involved in the testing of both native and hybrid mobile apps. Here is question 24. Can you explain how you would test a REST API? You can give an answer as, I would start by identifying the requirements and understanding the functionality of the API. 
then I would create test cases to validate the API's functionality, including positive and negative test cases to check for expected and unexpected behaviors. I would also check for proper error handling and validate the API's response codes, data format, and data consistency. Additionally, I would use tools such as Postman to send API requests and verify the responses. Let's review question 25. Can you describe your experience with database testing? You can provide an answer as, I have experience with database testing, including designing and executing test cases to validate the data storage and retrieval processes, ensuring data accuracy and integrity, and working with SQL queries to validate data in the database. You can also mention the tools that you have used in this process. Here is question 26. How do you work with developers to resolve defects and ensure that they are properly fixed? Here is the answer. When working with developers to resolve defects, I first clearly communicate the issue, provide relevant details and documentation, and then collaborate with them to find the root cause of the problem. I then verify the fix and make sure that it meets the quality standards and requirements before making the defect as resolved. This approach helps to ensure that the defects are properly fixed and prevents recurrence in the future. Next is question 27. Can you explain the importance of test documentation and how you maintain it? Here is the answer. Test documentation is important in software testing and it serves as a record of the testing process and result. It helps to ensure that the tests are repeatable and provides valuable information for future reference. To maintain test documentation, I follow best practices such as regularly updating the test cases and test results, using a version control system to keep track of changes, and ensuring that the documentation is easily accessible and readable for all stakeholders. Here is question 28. How do you prioritize and manage your testing tasks and responsibilities? An answer is, I create a detailed testing plan that outlines the scope, objectives and timeline for each task. I also regularly communicate with my team and stakeholders to understand their priorities and adjust my testing plan accordingly. I use project management tools such as Trello, Jira or Asana to track my progress, ensure deadlines are met and maintain visibility into my testing tasks. Additionally, I prioritize high-risk and high-priority tasks and make sure to allocate adequate time and resources to ensure their successful completion. Let's move on to question 29. Can you explain how you would test a new feature or functionality in a software product? An answer is, I would first thoroughly review the requirements and specifications to understand what the feature is supposed to do. I would then create a comprehensive test plan that outlines the testing approach, test cases, and expected results. Next, I would perform various tests to verify that the feature is working as intended using functional testing, compatibility testing, and performance testing. Throughout the testing process, I would document any bugs or issues that I find and work with the development team to resolve them. Finally, I would document the test results and present them to the stakeholders. Here is the last question. Can you explain how you would test a chatbot or conversational interface? Here is the answer. I would perform a thorough examination of the chatbot's functionality, including testing its ability to handle various inputs, understand and process user requests, provide accurate and relevant responses, and handle unexpected or edge cases as well. I would also test the chatbot's integration with other systems, its performance and its error handling and logging capabilities. We are done with all the questions. If you like the content, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more informative content on artificial intelligence and software testing. Your support helps us build more content to help you further. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section. We will try to provide the best possible answer and learn with you together. And here is a good news. TestRigger offers the AI-driven test automation engineer certification for free. Go get your certificate today. Thanks for watching.